from the initial Wehrmacht operations in Spain to the conquest of the whole European continent, you shall lead the Blitzkrieg, the Lightning War. The time has come to deal with Poland. France and Britain will have to pay for the disgrace of the Treaty of Versailles. The battles from Norway to North Africa and from the British Isles to the Soviet Union are awaiting you. Using the power of your aerial and naval forces, take over the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. Britain should part with the role of mistress of the sea. Having seized Europe, you will receive the key to the Drenga Korsen, crush the hordes of the hated Bolsheviks in the fire of unprecedented battles. Eich will finally establish its power over the continent by occupying the territories from the Atlantic to the Urals. Icons next to a unit allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the selected unit does not move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it moves, the icon will be grey. Similarly, the cartridge icon shows if the unit has made an attack during this move. The red color of icons indicates that either the fuel or ammo in that particular unit has been depleted. Your army is comprised of the core and auxiliary forces. You can distinguish between the two by the color of the figures denoting the strength of the unit. The core unit is indicated by green color. An auxiliary unit is indicated by yellow. The auxiliary forces are given for one mission only. The core forces will accompany you through the campaign, gaining strength in battle. You will be able to improve them and equip them with additional equipment. These units are the ones that should be primarily Bombers are flying artillery. Clear the way for our tank. They can provide emergency support for the ground forces wherever needed. Do not leave your bombers without protection. Remember, they are prime target for enemy fire planes. Fighter planes are needed for gaining air superiority, as well as for protecting ground forces and bomber aircraft. Keep your fighter planes close to the units that you want to protect. Enemy aircraft will return fire as soon as they are attacked. 
Air weaponry also provided to attack ground targets, although... This is an enemy unit. If the intelligence level allows it, you can obtain comprehensive information about it by right-clicking on the mouse button. As an officer, you must lead your troops from the forefront. Despite its low firepower, your headquarters is an extremely valuable unit on the battlefield. It is an effective command and control of troops that predeterminates the outcome of the entire battle. As you pick up new administrative skills, you will be able to provide significant benefits to your unit situated in the headquarters action zone. If the headquarters is lost, the whole operation will be considered as a failure. Infantry solidifies the success achieved by the rest of the forces. Use infantry units to escort tanks, assault and defend cities, as well as for special missions in mountainous and wooded terrain. This is the only type of troop that can fire its weapons when it crosses rivers and that can be transported by air. This panel displays information about the enemy. As you get closer to the enemy, your troops receive an increasing amount of data. First, they will pinpoint the location of an unidentified unit. Then they will identify this type. Finally, they will obtain the The more you know about the enemy, the easier it is for you to attack it. Intelligence will faster during close combat or by joint observation of enemy positions by several units. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of the troops. It can pave the way for maneuvering forces or weaken the enemy's attack through artillery fire support. Due to the long firing range of artillery, it can inflict damage on enemy units beyond the limits of their firing range. Use artillery barrage before assaulting enemy fortified positions. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to ground and aerial attack and needs to be protected. Recon units are able to seek out the enemy from afar, and can also locate ambush sites. You can give the reconnaissance unit the order to advance more than once per turn, as long as you still have movement points. Once the reconnaissance sees the enemy, it automatically stops, and then it can move towards any direction. Reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive, since it provides you full awareness about the presence of the enemy unit, thus making your attack more effective. Here you can view detailed information about your unit, its experience level, specifications, skills and special abilities, its strength, its ammo and fuel quantity, and its availability of additional weapons and weak tools. Anti-tank artillery is effective against armored vehicles. Your best tactic when using anti-tank artillery is to position it in the direction of a possible tank attack next to your other forces. Anti-tank guns provide support to neighboring units attacked by enemy tanks and armored vehicles. The Panzer Waffe is the basis of the Wehrmacht. Tanks are ideal for an offensive on an open terrain. A tank forces have an advantage of tenacity and speed. Use them to quickly capture enemy positions, reach through the enemy defenses, pursue and annihilate him. Assaults in cities and to positions of entrenched infantry forces will lead to high losses in tank units. Supply depot support zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. This unit will not last long on its own supplies.
This unit is on the verge of defeat. Send the unit to the station that is connected by the railway to our primary depot in order for it to be reinforced. Be careful when you deploy your tanks in cities, mountainous and wooden terrain. In the event of a clash with the enemy infantry, your tanks will sustain heavy losses. Anti-aircraft artillery is a powerful and versatile weapon. Not only is it capable to shield your vulnerable facilities against air attacks, but also effective combat ground targets. Large caliber anti-aircraft guns are also great for destroying tanks. open fire at any movements of the enemy. There is no need to attack it with infantry, shell the fortification with artillery, or bomb it from the air. The fort can also be outflanked from the rear, since it can only fire around the area of three hexagons in front of it. This unit troops crossing water barriers are very vulnerable. You can either make sure there is no enemy nearby before they do, or provide protection for them during crossing. While in their water obstacle, all troops except infantry use their fighting ability. You have captured an enemy supply depot. You can now use it to supply our troops. Enemy positions are protected by anti-tank guns. They're shooting at our armor.
Your aircraft is running out of fuel. You need to land on the airfield for refueling. This aerial unit has sustained heavy losses. You need to land it on an airfield for repairs, refueling and rearmament. Infantry units can easily hide themselves from attacks and shelling in urban, wooded and mountainous areas. Destroying enemy armor is much easier here.